There, I told you. I told you you wouldn't miss anything. Kentaro gained 10 troops. Now you know. Now you know what's happening. And turn 77. How glorious. Um, who's ready for another Shogun? <laughs> I am. Um, Dosan's unit affected by the Soulbinder. That's really annoying, because I like using her in the Shogun fights, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just a capital. Oh, hey, it's Edge. Cool. Oh, he's getting the shit beat out of him, as usual, because he was around, you know. But again, Edge is awesome. Love the guy. Absolutely love him. But uh, Rance is pissed off because Syl is frozen. He doesn't have anyone to pick on. He doesn't have anyone to joke around with, kind of, you know. Um, and, you know, <laughs> he's, he's aggravated. He's very reasonably aggravated. Um, you know, it's, he loves Syl and she's frozen. <laughs> you know, she's making snow cones for the Oda clan. She's not doing anything. She can't interact with Rance, and Rance misses it. Sucks. But, uh, ow, I lost a lot of people. Alright, um, fixed it. Um, I gave that item to Sagan, but he's not gonna do anything. He's gonna be a bitch. Just watch. Whatever. We're going to their castle. We're taking another Shogun out. And the Shogun, uh, there isn't anything really different about them. Um, they're all pretty much the same. And I scout these just to, uh, remember exactly what's here. I mean, I have forgotten over time. So, oh great, they have another bongo. But at least they... Look at this time killer! His ability is merchant! He's got merchant as one of his abilities. Oh, <laughs> what? And they have attitudes toward me. What the fuck? I've never noticed this before. The Shogun thinks of Rance normally. Or wait. No, that really is them! I. What the hell? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I don't know if it's there regularly. Very strange. Um, what am I doing? Not Layla. She's not going. Sagan's gonna go. Notori's gonna go. Son's gonna go. Maybe not in those places. Let me look again. Um, yeah, it'll be okay. It'll it'll work out. It always works out. Um, also, once you've got a you know a, a person character cleared and they're deployed with Rance, you'll see these little uh snippets of dialogue um it's the same every time but it gives them one affection and they're very interesting the majority of them um they get a little boring when you've seen it eight thousand times but until that happens it's cool um yeah and i don't know how they take priority over one another like if i've got a character cleared suzume and a character cleared son and i field them both with rants it'll play one over the other i don't know what decides that so well, that's all it does. Um, this is gonna be fun. You know, I really like these fights. Uh, now that I know how to handle them, they're very enjoyable. Um, they have a guard in the front row. That's annoying as hell. And they've got one with an intelligence boost. Not really a big deal. Still annoying. Um, they can't interrupt me. They're getting a Shikigami in their mouth. Oh my god. All of my hate. All of my hate. And you know the time killer's gonna, you know, advance time. And you know the Shogun's gonna debuff me. And you know that that asshole in the back is just gonna keep throwing lightning orbs. Forever. Um, their guard unit attacked me, which is probably not a good thing. Um, I wouldn't have liked for that to happen. But it did. Nothing I can do about it now. Um, oh man, what a pain. This is, this is a rough fight, you know? These Shogun battles are not easy. They're not easy. Never a... Never think for a second that these fights are easy fights, because they're not. Um, my first Shogun battle was still incredibly lucky, just very good fortune. Um, I would like to emphasize that again, and I guess I just... I mean, like Notori, if she bow attacks, she's slow. If she heals, she's slow, and I don't know if she's going to get to go again. But, I mean, I'm probably going to lose. Look at the time left. Can you believe that? Can you believe that much time is all that's left? And I've still got to push the bar so much further. Um, incredibly difficult battles, but you got the right units, you can do it. I might still be able to pull this one off. It's just an issue because the monster commanders, you know? They're uh, a real pain. And Rance, being as slow as he is, does not make this easier. Uh, yeah, just fuck, you know? <laughs> uh. Uh. But, um, 
it'll go. I mean, I've still got Sun with the Shiki. I've still got Sagan with the Death Sith. And none of my units are going to perish. You know? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm wincing in real life. Wincing. But it'll work out. And it'll be a, it'll be a glorious win for me. I should have used Rance's Commander Charge way back on a different unit. Um, I didn't do that. Actually, this could be a bad thing showing up here. Um, also, on a, as a side note, I've never annihilated any of the Shoguns. Um, I've never been able to do that. Uh, I don't think you get anything for doing it. I'm just pointing it out right now that I, that I haven't actually done that. Um, yeah. Oh no! 15 troops? Quick! Kill all my guys! Or slowly kill all my guys. Oh man, Alisoft, you know they did that on purpose just to be a pain in the dick. Here we go. I've annihilated one of the Shoguns for the first time in my life. You all saw it. It's on YouTube. It must be true. It's truly happening. And another victory. Um, This victory against the Shogun doesn't offer an H scene. But uh, it offers some satisfaction for Rance. <laughs> yeah, I feel good. I feel good in real life. Do you guys feel good? I hope you do. If you don't feel good, I want you to feel good. So you know that. In fact, if it helps you, you should play Rance to feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Rance is naked, you know. You can see that. He's, he's just doing his thing in the burning castle. It's all good. It's all good. And, uh, that does it for that territory. Um, action, or attack textbook, too. What am I saying? Um, I'm gonna get that really quickly here. Uh, with Layla, I suppose. There you go. Um, all, there, there is a location for all the, uh, tier 2 textbooks. That's one of them right there. Uh, several of them are in their last territory. Uh, and we should be getting treated to some, uh, unique dialogues here with the Demon Army. Soon, I hope. I mean... Jeez. And again, I'm looking through my stuff. Oh, actually, let me go to the item shop. There are some good things available here, and... Oh, I, I haven't come here before. I, I could have sworn that I had come here before. You know, showing this off in, like, part 80-something is the worst thing I've ever done. I apologize. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's right up there with not... With, with failing to explain national power. They're in the same league. Um, but this is the item shop. <laughs> you buy shit here with ogre bones. And I've got a bunch of Ogre Bones saved up, because you get them from dungeons, of course. And some of the best items in the game are located here. Um, really, I was coming here for a lack of anything better to do, but... My god, I thought that I had come here before. I'm, I'm disappointed in past audio. So... Anyway, I'll get something here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. I have 27 Ogre Bones. Oh yeah, uh, sure, I'll show you the erotic story. To be humorous, right? Um, you get nothing for it, it just wastes your ogre bones, and, uh, because I so rarely come here, because I rarely do the dungeons, I rarely have ogre bones, um, I don't know which item series leads up to which benefits, uh, you know, like, if you keep selecting the same slot over and over, like, whatever, okay, rice coupon, that replaced the erotic story, so if you pick that again, you're given something else, and then if you pick whatever's after the rice coupon, you're, uh, you know, another thing comes up, and eventually it will lead to some sort of an item that grants a specific troop type 1,000 soldiers. Um, there's one for the Mika, there's one for Cavalry, there's one for Warriors. Um, they're all not equipable due to exploits financially. And, uh, you know, there are, there are other things like that. Uh, there's a really ridiculous one that cuts down troop size, but I think it adds 5,000 troops to a unit. Um... It's, uh, I've never gotten it. I read about it. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. But, uh, you get that piece of shit. Battle Miko unit. That's good. Um, and I'm gonna give that to Natori, obviously. <laughs> and she's gonna go from being one of my smallest units to my largest unit. Um, yeah. So, there you go. I got a good item out of it. Glad that I did this. Um, should have done it much, 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 much sooner in the game. I did not. But, uh... Everything costs 11 Ogre Bones. You know, the price just continues to go up. Strange Quick Bug is an excellent item. Uh, give that to Kento, and she's got 9 speed right off the bat. Um, 
amazing item. Uh, there are a whole bunch of items like that. Um, actually, I'll show you that very briefly. Uh, where is it at? It's up here somewhere. Um, uh, challenge Golden Bear. There it is. That gives, uh, you do it. It's like a dungeon fight. It gives, uh, two, it's an item that gives two attack to whoever it's equipped to. Really great item. And there is one for every stat in the game. Um, God, I don't remember what it's called. It's like World's Tactics or something that, uh, gives two intelligence to whoever it's equipped to. Usually give that to Magic or Rizna for lack of a better unit. They're both mages from the other country, um, for reinforcements. Uh, you know, things of that nature. I, I give them to people who they're appropriate for. The defensive mask item I give to a guard unit, like cats. Um, and Okuri showed up with alcohol. That's a sign that I'm going too slowly in the game now, you know. Um, I will give him more levels, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this last territory here doesn't have a Shogun inside of it. Um, conquering it stops the Soul Binder from existing. And let me give that item to Notori so I can show it to you very quickly here. Um, it's an important item. It's a great item. I'd... I'd recommend getting it and, and giving it to Natori, probably. Unless you've got a specific item you'd prefer for her to hold. Because you can see her troop size just just shot way up. And her stats are amazing, so it's really not a bad item for her. Um, speed, there you go. Come here, Rance. Um, it's late in the game for these things to be as relevant as they should be. Because we're nearly done here, folks. I've nearly beaten Sengoku Rance's true route. And, uh... Oh, it's been good. Defense bear. I was gonna say cats has low defense. What? Fuck no, he doesn't. I don't need to give that to me. I don't need to give those out to anybody anymore. Um, we're gonna do another battle here, and uh, the demon armies. It's essentially their last territory. It's the last one that you'd fight them at. Um, if you were playing like a normal human being, unlike myself, um, who just abandoned their other main territories. Uh, easy fight by the looks of things. Um. Field battle expert. Why does he have that as an infected? Uh, it, it causes them to. I might be wrong, so I won't say it. But uh, easy fight. Rance will go. Um, Senime will go. I will go. You know, it's been a long time since I deployed Kenshin as well. You should get a rice scene here, I think. We'll see whether you do or not. And Suzume is not gonna go. Fuck that. Son will go. There we go. Um, nope. Getting a. Uh, it's the same scene. You've seen that before. So no need to see it again. But that's what I mean. I deployed Sun with Rance. He got another affection point. Cool job. Um, what am I going to do here? They got bongos. So instead of being an intelligent human being, like uh, casting a Shikigami, I'm just going to kill that because I hate it. Um, infected are going to get hit. You can believe that. Uh, Rance has seven attack. Now that's pretty decent. Um... I could still have him higher. I could have him higher than he is. But in time, in a normal playthrough, he would get better up. Um, this playthrough, even though I've taken my dear sweet time with it, I mean, we're almost at turn 80, you know? it's I've still felt rushed, personally, in this playthrough. So you're aware of that. Um, and most people, I'm sure, have that feeling of uh, they're just being rushed in their first playthrough. Uh, I've always felt that way in True Route. I've always felt rushed. Um, it's unavoidable, really. In Ron's Route, you don't feel any rush at all. You can take your dear sweet time. Um, unlike I've, you know, I've failed to do that in this route, but in Ron's Route, oh my god, you could just sit around till turn 999 if you want to, and there is no negative consequence. So, that you're aware of that. Uh, Isoroku's Route, there is no rush, but it just ends. You know, you don't have time to feel rushed. It just happens. So, you know, whatever. I'm rant attacking because I, you know, I can. I can, so I am doing it. Um, but yeah. I don't, I don't know how many more parts are going to be here. <laughs> um, as you're watching this, I may have found out a solution for how I want to resolve the end of the game what I want to do to show it off and things, but as I'm saying it, I haven't. That's still up in the air for me. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So, you know, uh, mostly it's centered around whether or not I'll keep my voice in for the majority of it. Um, I won't take any input on that either. Well, I will take input on it. I just won't regard it, right? 
Did I? Yeah, I think I said that right. Okay, cool. Um, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it. And I will. And it'll be great. You'll love it. But, uh, this last territory, I don't actually remember what the big benefit is. I know that the Sex Change Temple is here, I think. And you seal the Soul Binder. And you fight Mado. Um, but that'll be in the next part. After this battle here, this part will be over. Um, finish off the infected, I guess. I don't know. And then it's all Yamamoto, baby! Aw, yeah! And, uh, when I say I'm gonna change things up in another playthrough, I mean that. Um, I'm not- you're not going to see duplications of, uh, skills. You're not gonna see Yamamoto sweeping fire. You're gonna see her other abilities. I'm gonna use Suzume as a unit. Um, things like that are going to change. You'll see. Uh, you'll like it. You'll appreciate it. I hope, because I'm doing it to be entertaining, you know. But, uh, Xavier is pissed. Because Rance is doing well, Xavier can't do shit, he's never been able to do shit in his whole life. He's a horrible demon, you know? Um, I mean, he, that, that, he is a bad demon. He doesn't even know how to raise his demon children. He's horrible. Um, but, uh, he's beating the crap out of Kurohime, basically, because he feels like it, and he's stupid. Um... But, uh, Mado also is freaking out, because Mado, he's the last apostle! He's the last one! They don't have anything else. Um, if I were Mado, I'd be shaking in my boots. Or, uh, whatever the hell he's got for feet. I mean, he couldn't wear a hat, so maybe he can't wear boots. But, Ishijiji is... Ishijiji, there we go, I think I said it right, I don't know. I'm guessing. I saw it briefly. I, I had forgotten his name until now because he looks stupid. It's the other Forbidden Yokai. I dislike it a lot. It's like a crying old man thing that seems like it would have to have its diaper changed. It's really disgusting. Um, but uh, Xavier and Mado hatched this amazing plan, and it's to uh, destroy the Tenma Bridge, which is what is connecting Japan to the rest of the world. You know, that Rance and Sil crossed, the thing that Shimazu is connected to, that lets them become such an economic power. Um, it's a gateway to the rest of the world, the Tenma Bridge. And Xavier and Mado figure, if we destroy that bridge, Japan will sink into the ocean. Because, you know, Japan o is only there because that bridge is holding Japan up, right? Well... And Sengoku rants, that's how Japan floats, I guess. It's just held up by a bridge. I have no idea why it's like that. I don't, you know, whatever. And anyway, the next yokai that they're releasing just keeps gaining weight and gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the less happy that he is. Um, no doubt in my mind he's based on some kind of Japanese folklore. No doubt at all. But um, they put him on the bridge and he gets bigger and bigger and bigger until the bridge collapses. And Japan sinks into the ocean. You get a game over if you let that happen. There is an event featuring Suzume that lets you delay it, but you've got to do that event every turn. And my goal when attacking the Demon Army's main territories was to avoid ever having to do that delay sequence, other than maybe once to show it to you. But fortunately, this has gone along properly, and uh, I'm not going to have to rely on it much, but there he is. It's uh, the, the other Forbidden Yokai. Not the last one. I'm sure there are more than two within uh, the Cursed Altar. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but he has what is traditionally um, the peasant's armor. He's wearing armor that wasn't good enough for samurai. You know, the chest piece for it. So you can see it there. And for some reason, it has a jelly donut on it. Um, oh, wait. The rice balls? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next part.